In this video, I want to show you how to add USB 3.0 ports to your computer, including a USB Type-C port. So I wanted to get rid of this mess of cables caused by the usage of an external USB hub. The best way I found is to add a USB expansion card to my Dell Inspiron 3671 desktop. After doing some research, I found this SuperHub USB extension card that has four Type-A USB 3.0 ports, one USB Type-C port, and can also have two internal USB 3.0 ports that need a 20-pin connector cable that is not included in the box. These internal ports are used only if you are building your own PC. This is not the case for me because I am using a Dell Inspiron 3671 desktop, so I won't be using these two internal ports. The card is compatible with PCI Express X1, 4, 8 and 16 slots. So let's open the desktop to install the card. The dial opens quickly, it has only two screws at the back, just slide the top cover open. And this is the PCI Express X1 slot where I will be installing the card. I'm removing here the screw that holds the PCI cards and you see now there's a protection that we need to remove so this is a protection I'm gonna be removing and the card will be installed here don't disregard it maybe you'll need it in the future and here I'll be connecting the power now I'm using the SATA power provided with the card I'm connecting the cable to an empty SATA power I have in my PC connecting the power is optional and only needed if you're gonna use high power devices on your USB card. I'm gonna need it because I will be connecting hard drives on the USB ports. So this is a SATA power here on the card. Just slide it in. It goes only one way so be careful. Don't force it because it has a key. If it doesn't go in just turn it and try again. And now I will be installing the card. It just fits. Slide it in gently. And then I'll be tidying up the cables now. Always make sure to tidy up the cables. And let's close the desktop. And let me show you how the card looks like. This is a card. Now I have four more 3.0 USB ports and one USB-C port. And this is a before and after and you see the installation is much cleaner now. And because my PC is a Windows 10 PC, I don't need to install any driver and it is recognized instantly by Windows 10. So the provided drivers on the CD are only for Linux and for older versions of Windows, versions that are older than Windows 8.1. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.